Hi gardeners, my name is Nadia Giordano. Right now it's March and my outside garden is fast asleep. But that doesn't mean I'm not gardening. I have something very special to show you today. Ever since I got my first specimen, I've been fascinated with growing the exotic tropical, commonly known as a voodoo lily or devil's tongue. It takes several years for it to get large enough to produce a flower, but when it does, it is spectacular and the solitary bloom it produces can get up to four feet tall. It shoots up in winter or early spring, long before the actual plant begins its new season of growth. But this lovely quirk of nature stinks to high heaven for about two days when it's in full bloom because that's meant to attract insects for the purposes of pollination. I think the unpleasant fragrance is the primary reason you don't see it as a common house plant. Well, it looks like I'm about to be blessed with my very first bloom. So I've got the thing tucked away in a corner of a basement so it won't sink up the rest of the house when the show begins. Please watch from the moment of my discovery to the explosion of the bloom. Okay, uh, a frame before, I just showed you what this uh, voodoo lily, Amorphophallus konjac, or Hydrosme rivieri, it's got a dozen names. I showed you what it looked like as it was going dormant last fall. Okay, let's take a closer look at the inflorescent. I wanted to show you something else too. This is the beginning. The hole across is about two and a half inches. I'm going to move a ruler down so we can take a, a finer look at this. I think you can see, and maybe by my hand, just the size of the hole here. Maybe the ruler doesn't help very much. And something else I noticed Look at this. This is a, a stray tuber that worked its way out of the dirt. Uh, he's fine. He can sit here and wait for the rest of the winter before I put him in the dirt in the spring. It's dry. They don't need any extra care. Usually they sit in the pot uh, under the dirt, but it really doesn't make any difference to it. It'll be just fine until I plant it in the spring. And we'll take a look again here at the beginnings of what we're going to be watching for the next several weeks until we get a fabulous bloom out of this. turn out to look quite this beautiful but it really does it's fully open it's it's exquisitely beautiful but it stinks I'm not having a good time standing this close to it so anyway it's not going to take long and I'm going to be moving away before I come back for its close-up okay everybody I'm moving close to this thing one more time it's it's so beautiful but it smells so terrible I just wanted you to get an idea of the size of it and then I'm, I'm moving away from the this thing for the rest of the day here she is she okay well right now here we are at day six with the voodoo lily in full bloom she is exquisite and interestingly, today there is no disagreeable odor coming from her. Perhaps it's over. I, I really don't know. I'll report afterwards. But over the next few days, she's surely to begin to fade and, and shrivel. And we'll watch that too. So. Well, that about covers it for today. And if you found that interesting and think you'd like to try growing voodoo lilies yourself, get in touch with me.